I'm originally from Pennsylvania. So when it comes to the four major sports, I'm a Phillies, Flyers, Sixers, Eagles fan. Uh, went down to Florida and ended up going to high school there, went to college in Florida and stayed there for quite a while. Uh, ended up playing and coaching at Rollins College, uh, which is in Winter Park, Florida. So I was an assistant there for three years and the head coach for seven years. Uh, we built that program up, had some really good success. Uh, so then that took me to Texas, uh, East Texas, Nacogdoches, Texas, the home of Clint Dempsey. Uh, ended up there and uh, was there for three years and we had some success there and then that brought me out to Arizona. Uh, I have a wife named Samantha and a dog named Gage, Golden Retriever, who's a little bit crazy, uh, but we love him. Uh, no kids uh, to date, um, but just us two and, and we're pretty excited to be here in Arizona. I've always wanted to coach at the highest level uh, from the first time my career started, uh, from the first day it started. Um, and so we've been working towards being in a, a big conference like the Pac-12. So the University of Arizona just checked a bunch of boxes. You know, it's a big school, big athletic department, uh, in a region where you can get good players, uh, in a warm climate. So I've been in Florida, Texas, and now Arizona. So. Uh, I didn't see myself being uh, up in the Northeast or something where it's freezing cold. Um, and then to have the support of an athletic department like Arizona and a good school where uh, you can get good, good players and, and be successful. Um, so that it, it just kind of checked so many things for us that it was a no brainer once the offer was on the table. I, I haven't done a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, we know coming here that the first couple of months, I mean, we came here to work and really, uh, evaluate the situation so that we can come up with a strategic plan in detail. Um, so it's been a little bit hectic. Uh, I was here for a week before Christmas and that was uh, really just making it so that I could work here through human resource stuff and find somewhere for my wife and I to put our head down at night. Um, so that was a little bit crazy because she was texting me from Texas, here go look at this place, go look at that place and we didn't know up from down in the town. So we ended up in some neighborhoods we probably wouldn't want to buy a home in. Uh, but we eventually at the, at the last hour found somewhere to get in for the time being, um, you know, not far from campus. So it's really just been trying to get our feet under us with the job, have somewhere to live. Um, and really we haven't had a chance to explore too much. But from what we've seen, uh, it seems like a great place to live and we're excited about being here. I did not talk to the previous coaching staff. Um, I wanted to come in with a, uh, a blank slate approach, no preconceived notions about any aspects of the program and really just evaluate it for myself, kind of look through it through a new lens uh, to really come up with how we were gonna attack this thing. Um, and sometimes when you talk to previous staffs, they can you know, skew you one way or the other, good or bad. Um, and I just really wanted to have a different approach. And, uh, you know, with, with coming in from a different program, uh, you know, sometimes when you're the assistant and you get elevated to the head coach, you have a major adjustment to make because your role totally changes. And for me, coming from being a head coach at another school, it, it's, it's a blank slate for everyone involved now. And uh, it, it is different. Uh, because the players don't know me, I don't know them, and we have to spend the first couple months really just figuring each other out because I didn't recruit them, uh, they didn't get to know me in that process. Uh, so it definitely is a, a, a few months of adjustment for everyone involved, whereas when you're the assistant, you know everyone and they know you. Uh, but I think the program's at a point where we really need a fresh perspective um, and that not coming up from being the assistant uh, is something that I think will be beneficial to everyone involved at this point. Coaching style in general, you know, I want all the players to make sure that they develop in their four years with us. That They go through our program and they go, okay, I was better off for being involved with the soccer program and being coached by Tony uh, than if I was just a student here. So that's really important to me. I want the players to have success uh, and I want them to enjoy the process. You know, sometimes in college athletics, you get too far away from why we all are involved with it. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's not all fun. Uh, fitness tests and things like that are not, uh, you know, everyone's uh, cup of tea, but, you know, they're, they're kind of things you have to do. But overall, I want them to enjoy being a part of our program. Uh, my general uh, approach is going to be to have high expectations and hold everyone accountable. Um, and I think that'll be something that 
the players have to adjust to. It'll help change the culture. Uh, I, I'm about winning. I want, I want the players to have success. I want the team to have success. I'm going to work tirelessly to have success with this program. And it's not going to happen overnight, uh, but we're going to get it done. And, and the team's going to either get on board or, or be left behind. So uh, we feel like we have some core pieces that we can get it done. And, and we're going to be passionate about tackling every aspect uh, to make sure we're successful here. Are you excited to come into the program and kind of build it back up? I'm totally excited. Uh, I know the potential of the program. You look at our other sports here uh, and, and they're successful, whether they win national championships or they're ranked in the top 10. Uh, so I feel like, you know, women's soccer can be at that level as well. Uh, and like I said, it's not happening overnight. You know, I'm not naive enough to think, you know, we're going to come right out of the gates and be a top, top program. Uh, but I do know that we have the, the infrastructure here to be successful and uh, with some strong leadership and the right recruiting and uh, the right direction you know we'll, we'll get this thing on the right track